We asked, some of us even complained and well, Notion responded. Yes, it's happened. Notion simple tables are here. Thanks Notion, no, thank you. Sometimes you just want simple views of your important information rather than generating complex databases and well, simple tables are the answer. Just type forward slash table and away you go. Now this might seem a pretty, well, simple topic. Sorry, but actually these could be pretty damn useful for us. So let me show you the difference between databases and simple tables in Notion, how this table feature can benefit you and your Notion workflow, and a few of my favorite use cases for them. If you are new here, I'm Simon, and on Better Creating, I'm sharing ideas and tools to help you lead your best productive and creative life, including a ton of downloadable Notion templates at bettercreating.com forward slash downloads, from stoic prompted journals to complete productivity workspaces. Maybe they can help you simplify your life like they have for me. So, simple tables. First things first, well, they look great. There is no need to name these tables like you would with a database. You don't even have to have those calculate functions or anything. So on one level, they just look great and simple. A great feature they have over databases is you can simply drag from the corner and set the number of rows and columns really quickly. We can also fit it to page width like this, which is a really swift and useful visual aid. You can also click on the plus signs to the bottom and the right to add columns and rows. And rows and columns have been made easy to move within this as you would expect uh, with a database. We can now organize data in rows as well as columns, meaning there is now more flexibility in how you order basic information in a table. Columns and rows can be formatted as header columns or rich text formatting, such as colored backgrounds, bold and italic text are now available. Very useful for visual design when you're representing information in Notion. One of the advantages of the tables are that hyperlinks can now be directly clicked from in the table, rather than having to click into a table property first, like you would in a database, much faster for saving links to click to. What do you guys think you'll be using these tables in Notion for? Let me know in the comments uh, and help me out with a quick thumb press on that thumb button. You know what I mean. Well, it's great to see that simple tables can be turned into databases if you decide you need further functionality, or indeed turned back the other way if you want to make a simpler visual view. It also allows you to more easily import information from other databases or table-based sheets like Google Sheets or Excel. You can simply copy a piece of information, manually paste it into Notion, and then turn it into a simple table, keeping things nice and clean. Links to other Notion pages can also brilliantly be referenced within an entry, uh, which means if you want to, you can create a little bit more uh, connectivity. Now these are called mentions. Now there are still limits. You can't sort or filter or link to other databases like you can with databases. And you can't create other Notion blocks within an entry. It's only currently for text, hyperlinks and mentions, as far as I'm aware, to other pages. So when and how would you use these simple tables? Ultimately, if you want to sort, filter, or resurface information in more automated ways, then stick to databases. But if you just want to visualize data and info in a more simplified or kind of beautiful way, maybe you want control over the visual formatting of information, then simple tables could be the one. Now some example use cases that I've been experimenting with or thinking about are things like simple weekly views to uh, view schedules to plan out your activities such as, well let's say an at a glance social media plan. Uh, you might want simple formatted notes views to place within template pages such as a client database to log conversations. That could be really super helpful, something I'm developing at the moment. I also think these can be excellent to create, say, meeting agendas, maybe for uh, students for referencing a regular timetable. I'm gonna be using them to plan my weekly rehearsals for the theater work that I do, and then I can easily share them into other table-based platforms. Now then, if you'd like to make more of some of these amazing new features that Notion seems to be releasing every week at the moment when I'm looking at them, uh, then make sure to check out one of these videos to update your workspace and check out my Notion templates. There's something for everyone there from journaling to task management right through to those to-do 
lists. It would be awesome if you subscribed, amazing if you turned on those bell notifications and came back and saw me on the next one.